Let's start out by walking through some of the key features of ServiceMax installed base and entitlements. I am a field service manager and I'm logging into ServiceMax through a Salesforce.com login on a web browser. ServiceMax is a cloud-based solution built on the Force.com platform. This provides tight and seamless integration to your Salesforce CRM and Service Cloud solutions. With such a tightly integrated solution, your field service technicians will have easy access to records like accounts, contacts, incoming support cases, products, and opportunities. Your team will also have access to reports and dashboards. This will allow your team to quickly establish insight into strategic information, like KPIs and utilization reports, ensuring that you have the right people with the right information at the click of a button. Now let's look at an example of an installed base customer account. Once on the account, I have access to all relevant information, including contacts, partners, open activities, and a list of all service locations with their latitude and longitude. I also have a 360 degree view of this customer account, including historical and scheduled transactions like opportunities, inbound support cases, historical work orders, as well as scheduled work orders, parts orders, and any current and expired service and maintenance contracts and warranties. Now, by tracking your customer's warranty and service contract information, you can ensure that their service contracts are renewed on time to prevent service and parts giveaways. Should I need to take a closer look at my service contract to better understand entitlement status, I can access that information by simply clicking here. Once on the service contract, I have a complete view of all relevant information, including covered products, included services, covered locations, and historical inbound support cases. So now let's say I'm an inbound call representative and I just received a call from one of our customers who is having an issue with one of his installed products. Through the 360 degree view of the customer, I can immediately find the installed product in question here. Once on the installed product, I can access all relevant information, including serial number, asset tag, date installed, and manufacturer. I also have a 360 degree view of the historical activity, including any related product warranty, service contracts, historical inbound support cases, scheduled and historical work orders, parts orders, and any notes and attachment. ServiceMax also supports a bill of materials associated with this product and a status of every component in this hierarchy tree. Ultimately, each one of these field replaceable components can be serviced individually and have a unique warranty and service contract associated with it, ensuring there is no parts and service leakage. Now that we've found the product that our customer is having issues with, let's go ahead and create a one-click support case. With Service Flow Manager, creating a support case is easy. All relevant information is automatically copied over from the installed product to the support case. That information includes things like product serial number, customer and contact information, and service locations. All I have to do is record the reason for the call and any symptoms the customer is able to give us. But before I provide this type of service to the customer, I want to check their entitlement and warranty status. With ServiceMax, the system can automatically perform an auto entitlement check. With the auto entitlement check, the system will automatically tell me if this is a billable event, ultimately ensuring I'm not missing out on any type of revenue generating opportunities. Because the entitlement check determined this product is covered under an existing service contract, the billing type defaulted in its contract, ensuring we don't invoice this customer by accident. You'll also notice the system links the service contract and or warranty to the related case. This ensures that we can monitor service levels and utilization reports over time. You'll also notice the support cases linked to the specific service level agreement terms. These service level agreement terms ultimately ensure that we are achieving customer satisfaction. You can track your customer's SLAs through the SLA compliance clocks and counters, seen here. This ensures service requests are escalated to the right people at the right time. Advanced scheduling in ServiceMax is easy and can be done in a variety of ways, ensuring you will always have the right technician at the right job at the right time. You can assign work orders interactively through the ServiceMax Dispatch Console or automate it using Optimax, 
the ServiceMax Workforce Optimization Engine. Let's take a look. This work order has all the necessary scheduling information, including case details, problem description, service location, and an appointment window based on SLAs. We can manually assign it to the appropriate technician by changing the owner here. Through this process, you can quickly assign work orders to users, work queries, and even partners. In this example, we may want to assign this to a queue because this is a rescheduled work order. And with workflow rules, you can assign activities in the user's calendar and even send notifications ensuring they know they've been assigned work. But now let's say that we want to assign this work order interactively through the ServiceMax Dispatch Console. By clicking the Dispatch Technician button, the system will automatically launch the Dispatch Console. The Dispatch Console has a rich and interactive user interface that shows work orders based on rules you define, like ownership, status, territories, or even products. You will also have access to your technician's calendars, providing complete visibility to your technician's activities, like existing work orders, paid time off, or meetings. This can span months, weeks, days, and even hours. With optional GPS tracking, you will also see where your technicians are on a Google map. You can view technicians by service team or territory. The console layout can easily be adjusted based on user preferences and save for later use. By clicking the Find Technician button, the system can invoke your search criteria. This search criteria can include things like associated territory, driving distance limits, skill sets required, and availability. For this work order, I specified a preset criteria based on location, product, and skill so that the system will find me the right technician. I now have quickly identified the right technician or service team for this particular work order, and I can drag and drop the work order onto his calendar for assignment. Now let's say I want to have the system automatically assign work orders based on things like geography, work type, and products. With the immediate dispatch capabilities of ServiceMax, these predefined rules and criteria can be easily configured and easily maintained. You can configure our immediate dispatch rules to use various system available information to automatically dispatch and assign a technician, dispatcher, or queue of choice based on the work order being created or saved. So let's say that I cannot resolve a customer issue over the phone. I now have to create a work order so that I can dispatch a field technician on site. From the same support case I created previously, I can create a work order. Ensuring that I don't have to do my work twice, the system will automatically carry forward all the information I have already collected on this support case. And because the system performs an auto entitlement check, I can now inform the customer what parts and service will be covered under this entitlement. Let's say I'm a technician that's just been assigned to this work order by the dispatcher via ServiceMax Advanced Scheduling. With the work order management module, you can do things like create and generate estimates and quotes. You can process returns or advance ship replacements. You can create actual time and expense items so that you can generate a final invoice for customer signature. If I don't have a part that I need, I can actually perform a parts request right from the work order. From the request, I can specify the part I need and the date in which it's required. I can also specify where I want the part delivered. That delivery can either be directly to the customer location or it can be delivered directly to my trunk stock. I can now use the ServiceMax Stock Lookup feature to quickly find the part that I need. By clicking Find Stock, I can now see the availability of that part in relation to my delivery location. By selecting one of these available stocking locations, I can request the part and ensure that it's available at time of service. While I'm completing the job and once the work is fully completed, I can record all of my work details, including labor, expenses, and parts consumed. At the time you close a work order, you can ensure that you capture any information associated with the job, including work performed, root cause, and failure analysis, as well as resolution information. This can all be done at the time of the repair itself. Now that we've completed the work order, we want to ensure that there's no confusion about what's going to be billed for the services we've just completed. In ServiceMax, the field technician can now present a final report or a bill of waiting in real time to the customer, 
for acknowledgement and signature before the invoice is actually sent. This can greatly reduce the billing and collection issues related to the invoicing process. With ServiceMax, inventory and depot repair is simple. This module enables complete visibility into all types of inventory locations, including warehouses, depot repair facilities, and a technician's trunk stock. Now you and your field technicians will know the exact on-hand inventory quantities at all stocking locations. This ensures you will always have optimal inventory levels, ultimately increasing transparency for greater inventory controls. Now let's say I'm a customer support representative and I just received a call from one of our customers who was having trouble with one of their products and I need to go ahead and quickly create a support case. After automatically validating the customer's entitlement status and checking his service history, I can easily determine the next step. From the support case, I can easily process a shipping order to send a customer replacement. I can also process an RMA, ensuring the customer returns the broken product. So let's create an RMA now. By clicking the RMA button, the system will copy all related information over. This information can include the billing type, which automatically defaulted into contract because of the entitlement status, the ship from location, and the product being returned. I can simply select where the product needs to be shipped to and the expected condition and disposition. By clicking Save, I have now created a parts order. Now we can track shipment information like expected receipt date, shipping courier, and tracking number. You can even set up alerts and billing schedules to automatically bill the customer if you do not receive the return product by the specified date. Now let's say you want to send the customer a replacement via an advanced shipment. With Service Flow Manager, this is easy. Let's do that now by clicking Ship Replacement. The system will automatically fill in the to and from shipment locations, as well as the product information that will be shipped to the customer. If this is billable, we can fetch the price by clicking Get Price, which is linked back to your price books. We can even add additional lines as needed. Saving this shipment record creates another parts order. Now, as a customer support representative, I can easily relay the shipment information as well as the expected receipt date back to the customer. If the customer has customer portal access, they can track the progress of the shipment without having to call back in. More importantly, I have complete visibility to all the information right from the support case. This includes the RMA and the advanced shipment I just created. Now let's switch roles for a minute and say I'm responsible for monitoring and tracking the anticipated RMA returns. I can now easily do that in one location. I can see all of my processed RMAs, I can see the expected receipt date, I can see the associated contacts, and search by customer and or product. And with Service Flow Manager, I can easily process the receipts of the product by clicking Process Receipt Lines. I can also easily capture the quantity received and serial number. Now, with the returned product in-house, we can easily open a work order to initiate repairs. With Service Flow Manager, I can do that by clicking on Create Depot Repair. And now with Work Order Management, I can easily track my repair operations. Service Pulse is a social communication tool that gives unprecedented visibility and collaborative capabilities to your entire service organization, including field techs, service managers, and even executives. I'm going to show you the three main pillars of Service Pulse, Service Pulse Ticker, Product Pulse, and Social Collaboration. Let's say I'm a service manager. The first thing I do every morning is check my Service Pulse ticker. This is a live, real-time feed of everything going on in my service organization. I can personalize exactly what I want to subscribe to and know the minute something happens. I can follow the people, cases, customer accounts, products, and even opportunities that matter to me most. I can see that a big service contract deal was closed this morning and a work order was closed by a technician at a key customer. Good news on both fronts, but now I see a new item pop up in my feed that has me concerned. One of our brand new Ultrasound Logic 500 MDs has sent out an alert that something is wrong. Our products are social too. This is Product Pulse. Products are connected directly to my organization through machine-to-machine -machine technology, alerting us in real time that there is a problem. I look on the map and I can immediately see the location of the product that is having an issue, and it's an important customer. 
A work order is automatically created, and our closest technician, Scott Techman, is dispatched to fix the Ultrasound Logic 500MD. Product Pulse allows us to deliver proactive service before the customer even knows there is a problem. I'm going to switch users. Now I'm Scott, the star technician. I arrive at the customer site, but I have never serviced this machine before. In fact, no one has. This is the first service on our new product. It's showing an Air 303, which I'm not familiar with. I don't need to know who the expert on this product is or how to find them. Instead, I open up Service Pulse to collaborate in real time with the group of people following this new product. I immediately get a response back from a product expert on the engineering team who has recently discovered this issue in testing. He tells me it's an issue with a fuse. I have one in my van, so I replace it, and the customer is back up and running. Instead of having to go through hundreds of pages of product manuals or having to go back to the office to track down the right person to help me fix this error, Service Pulse helped me solve the problem in just a few minutes and just one truck roll. Because Service Pulse is searchable, other techs can now search for that product or error and will see the solution. I'm pretty happy about providing some great service to my customer, and so is the CEO. She has visibility via Service Pulse into our service organization as well. And she congratulates me and our entire organization for proactively taking care of one of our most valued customers. Field service technicians can't be tied to an office or even a network. They need to have critical service information and customer data at their fingertips, no matter where or when. With ServiceMax Mobile, field techs, service managers, and executives can access the ServiceMax suite via their iPad, smartphone, or disconnected laptop, ensuring they are never without the information they need to do their job. Welcome to ServiceMax for iPad, the app that will make you rethink field service. I'm a field service technician. I fix medical devices in the field at the customer site. I start every day with ServiceMax on my iPad. I log in and immediately see a range of functions I can perform, but today I go to my calendar to view all the customer jobs I have on my schedule. I can dive in deeper to see my full day's route, driving directions, and lots of important information on each work order. I'll dive into my first customer visit and view information about the company and person I'll be seeing, a description of the problem that I need to solve, and I can see my service level agreements and the time I have left to fix this problem. Here are the tasks I need to complete and detailed product and account history. And now I'm at the customer site and I can't seem to solve the problem. ServiceMax helps me troubleshoot with mobile access to my knowledge base with videos or product manuals. I still can't solve the problem though, so I'm gonna to go to Chatter where I can collaborate with experts in my organization. Looks like some other people are having the same problem, and Richard is the expert, so I'll quickly reach out to him on FaceTime. Good afternoon, this is Richard, how can I help you? Hey Richard, I'm out here at HTE and I'm trying to fix the GXC320. Could you take a look at it and tell me if there's something I don't know? You're actually gonna to have to replace that transducer there. A lot of them have been coming in faulty lately. Ah, uh -huh. well that explains it. Thanks. Now that I've solved the problem, I need to track the parts used and my time and expense so I can close out the work order. I want to quickly pull that transducer part from inventory so that I can make sure it's accounted for. And I need to bill the customer for my labor and travel costs. And now I'll present the invoice directly to my customer and have them sign it on the spot. When I'm done, I can create a quick PDF of the invoice and email it directly to the client before I move on to the next job. My company is happy and my customer is delighted. You can get ServiceMax for iPad in the App Store. Just search for ServiceMax.